actually the situation that we're in so that we can think critically and honestly about how we could go where we want to go. Um, first, just an aside about the title, is that I do think that we should take ourselves more seriously, but maybe not too seriously. At least, I actually think that we're not funny enough. Um, and we should practice more humor. And uh, and we need we need some anarchist stand-up comedians, I think. It's a, um, it would help. It would go a long way. Um, and then the, the, the second point is uh, an extension of what Cindy was saying, which is that I think like a sort of soft or lowercase a anarchism has kind of become the default um, ideology, so to speak, of the, the general left, in which um, even amongst some kind of sectarian groups, uh, when they reach out to the general public, they have to have the veneer of a directly democratic organization. They need to hold public meetings that appear to be run by consensus. Um, there's a lot of sort of values that anarchism carries with it that have kind of been taken on. And I think that that that's useful and important in it, um, but it, but there's limitations to that. And uh, there's a couple things, a couple anecdotes in a way, I guess. One is that, I don't know if people remember, in 1999, there was this thing in Seattle where a bunch of people got together and they tried to fight the WTO, and then there were a bunch of kids running around with spray paint, and they were writing on the walls, we are winning. And at the time, it just felt great. Yeah, we're winning. And now, I actually think it's maybe been long enough to go back and assess, was there any truth in that statement at all? Like, what does it actually mean to win? What are we winning? And some of the immediate follow-up to, to the counter-globalization movement and some of the theorizing about it, um, you know, there's an essay, there's a number of essays that David Graeber has written, um, one of them, The New Anarchists, and other things, where he basically kind of was following the logic of that graffiti, where he, he would say, he was, his, his argument was that in a lot of ways we've already won. And what I think he was trying to articulate is this idea that a lot of the ideas that we have have become more mainstream, at least within the left. Um, but, but I think that that really needs to get interrogated because, okay, so that's happened, but so what? I mean, ultimately, like, have our lives and the lives of most people on the planet substantively changed in a better way in the last 10 years? Um, and, and if they have changed, have they changed better because of anything that, like, we as a anarchist or anti-authoritarian milieu have done? Um, and I think largely the answer is no. Um, and so that, I think we need to be honest about that so that we can start to say, well, you know, we threw a lot at the system and it felt like we were getting somewhere and now it kind of feels like we're back at square one again. And it's demoralizing, but I think it's necessary because it, it, we need to create a space for us to think through what that means and think through how we are gonna do things differently since we need to keep doing this. So what, what, what would it mean to do that differently? What would that look like? Um, I actually think like as anarchists we're, we're kind of like good Christians where we've sort of salted the planet with 